It's favor, y'all. Happy New Month. Hi. What's up, y'all? How you guys doing? Hope you guys are doing great. Welcome to my channel once again. I am so grateful and I appreciate you guys so much and I love you guys so much. And thank you for tuning in. Make sure you like, comment, turn your post notification on so that every single time I upload a new video, you'll be the first to be notified. Don't forget to subscribe, give me a thumbs button to like this video. For, don't forget to follow me on Instagram, Tori not to see, Snapchat, and TikTok, the real underscore Tori. So, today what we're actually going to do, I am going to be answering some spicy questions. So, I hope you guys are super ready for this. Make sure you tune in to the very end because I believe this video is actually going to be very fun. But also, you guys are going to like know some spicy stuff about me but not only that we're actually going to learn some new things together if there is like any question that is like not about me but like you are going to learn something with me then we're actually going to learn together so make sure you share this video with your family and friends because you know the vibe all we do here is good energy good vibes learn from each other support each other and Welcome to the Lovable and Unbeatable Family. So, it's actually gonna be like super weird to like respond to these questions right here because like, um, I am in like a school environment, but I am going to try my very best to be as honest as possible um, for me to like respond to this questions or topics okay all right so the first question is when did you lose your V card so I really do not remember <laughs> to be honest I really do not remember but what I know I was actually 18 if not 19 I was 18 or 19 that's what I remember 18 or 19 um, what is your favorite position so this is a very good question and I think like most of the people like to ask this question so that their partners can actually like um, do better when there is like the part like is actually their favorite um, position and stuff but to my side I don't know how to explain it but like you know when like you're on top and like your legs are like I don't know how to say it like when you're on top and like the legs are like like when you're on top and the legs are like that like I might show you guys at the end because like there's actually people right here but like when you're on top and like your legs are like that whatsoever that's actually like my favorite but the other one is definitely um is definitely the dog one the doggy one I am really trying to like make this video like PG as possible but like those are actually my favorite like positions but I really do not have like favorite favorite because like I believe um, if your partner knows your like your body and he knows to do the right thing if your partner knows what to do like the right things to do I think that's the greatest thing because like at the end of the day you have to feel good you have to feel <laughs> like he's actually doing a great job so Okay, I have to tick every single one that I actually did already. So this one is already done. This one is already done. This one is already done. How long should he last? Um, I like it. So I don't want it to be a rush. Okay, like I don't like it when like like you feel like you're being rushed or he's actually being rushed. Cause like I feel like some like most people tend like to do that there is a difference between like um a quickie and doing it so like a quickie is like when you really need to like you guys are like a rush is like 
probably 15 to 20 minutes but like I really want it like to last for like I mean him to last for as long as he can like he should take it slow with me like you're there with me like you don't have to like rush yourself to to do it you don't have to rush yourself to do it like you're with me you're spending time with me so why should you like rush you can even use like seven hours like, it's like just take your time with me like you know take your time with me take your time with my body like make sure like it's not only about you but it's mm -hmm. also about me like make sure you're like we're both enjoying like it's not a one-sided thing that's the only thing I can say okay so I really don't care some people say an hour some people say two hours some people say 30 minutes which is crazy but like I really don't know he can last as much as he wants but like I just want him to go like slower you don't have to rush it okay and and um is there like a time for you guys to do it like do you prefer daytime somebody asked is there like a time you guys can do it do you prefer like daytime or nighttime honestly speaking i really don't care because like it's really it really doesn't matter like because some people say like it's better when you do it like during the night time and some people like say like it's really like it's good when you do it like during the like the daytime but it really doesn't matter like as long as you guys don't have kids as long as you guys are not interrupted like you don't have company like you don't have friends over or like family over you can do it anytime like that thing is actually doesn't it doesn't matter you know it really depends with the mood you guys are in and also talking about mood the part like i say like how long should he last like it really depends like with the mood and stuff like because like sometimes it actually can last less than how like less than usual um like less than the usual time that you guys always do it so it really really doesn't matter um anytime any day Daytime, nighttime, morning, afternoon, evening, it really doesn't matter. Okay, how many days in a week are you guys supposed to meet? So, that's a very great question. I, okay, I think it really also depends with like the flow and the mood that you guys are in, like your partner and yourself. But, um. Personally, I think, I believe, like, it's supposed to be, like, at least three days. Three to four days is not that bad because, like, there is only, like, seven days, right? So, three to four days is actually really not bad to, like, you know, um, meet and do whatever you guys have to do. Like, spice up your stuff. But it really doesn't matter. Really, it really doesn't matter. But you guys have to understand that it's not only that you're supposed to only do that because like you guys um you need to do some other stuff to make sure like you're spicing um your relationships and your marriages if you guys are married like there is a lot more that you can do to like strengthen your connection strengthen your bond it's not only that sex that is actually going to help you to like strengthen stuff for you but like there is some more other time you can spend quality time playing games cooking together going to like stores like grocery shopping um you can even talk to each other like dance watch a movie you know do stuff together walk your dog or like take your cat to like outside like do activities outside activities that are actually going to help you um like like your intimacy and your bond is actually going to help you out it's not only about sex and cooperating in that particular way so um 
how do you cheer your soul up? So I am a big fan of music. I love music so much. So when in case like I really don't feel good, like I'm in the like I'm in the situation that my energy is low, my mood is not there, and I don't feel anything. Like I'm super sad. I'm down. Um, either I'm having anxiety or depression or anything like that. I would just listen to some loud music, either with my headphones on or like nothing. But like I would just listen to some music. That's how I actually cheer myself up. But I always like to like motivate myself, like motivation, saying some positive words to myself. That actually really helps me. I read my Bible also, like reading um, the word, like just you know, it actually helps you out so much with like cheering your soul up that's for me but like that's also like an advice to you like if you are that type of person who's actually maybe short temper or you're not feeling okay or like you're feeling sad you're just not on the like it's not your day like it's really not your day i think that's the like that's what you're supposed to do like like cheer yourself up like cheer yourself up by doing the things that you love to do like the most favorite things that you love to do okay like some people love cooking so you can go to the kitchen cook yourself your like some favorite meal go out like people do like different stuff some people like have friends over i am not a person that like to be around people when i am not okay but if that's what you like to do then why not you can actually do that um does the idea of getting older scare you definitely like um we all know like the more you grow the more like you're having more responsibilities and the more like you're expanding like family wise because like it's gonna have like it's gonna happen that you're going to get like you're going to you're not gonna be alone anymore it depends with what you really want in life but like if you're having like plans to like not to be by yourself like to have a family um you know and stuff like that you're not gonna be there by yourself you're going to be a wife you're going to meet like your husband's family you also have you have kids so like you're going to have like a lot of responsibilities like a lot of things will happen like you'll be having so many things to do so many responsibilities to take care of so it doesn't scare me but it gives me like it makes me to have like precautions and it helps me to be careful to like set goals to be um to know what exactly i'm supposed to do what like at what time like at what particular time i'm actually supposed to do this and do it like not wasting time because like first of all we live just one time we only have one life so we have to make sure that we live our life to the fullest we do like the things that we really love to do but at the end of the day we're not supposed to forget about our responsibilities because if we forget our responsibilities babe nobody is going to do your responsibility so i hope i answered that question well do you think you are a good kisser? I really cannot tell if my partner was here. It could have been like a different, like he would have seen it in a different way. But it's great to be confident, right? It's really good to feel confident. Like that's something that you guys have to be able to do. Every single person is supposed to be confident. You have to feel good. There is like something like when you when you look at yourself, you're like, oh, okay, girl, that's great. So I believe I am. I believe I am. Cause yeah, I believe I am. What is your tolerance? Okay, so this is a great question. 
person, a man who smells good, a man who smells good is a great turn on for me. A man who dresses nice is a, is a turn on for me. A man who compliments, who is clean, like the hygiene, they're clean, that's a turn on for me. Touch. Like if he knows like the appropriate places to like touch, that's a turn up for me. So So that's it. <laughs> um what do you consider a red flag? So red a red flag or red flags? So there are multiple things that I consider a red flag, but one of the most first red flag is if that person doesn't fear God or doesn't know God. That is a big red flag, my friend, to me. Because I believe like if your friends, your partner do appreciate and love God, it means like he will talk to God and ask him to help him to love you the correct way, the right way. The other red flag that I have and I really do not like is the whole situation that a person says something and that person doesn't do it. Like you told me you're going to do something, right? And you're not doing it. Like you're not accomplishing it. You're not doing it. Like whether I don't know. Like I don't know if people do that intentionally or like they are just like that's just how they are. But my other red flag is like a person who pretends to be someone who is not. For example, like you know you cannot afford to be this way, but you pretend to like you can actually be this way. That is a like that's a very great red flag too. Oh guys, did you hear my tummy? My tummy just broke. And they're like there are like people here and my tummy just broke. But um my so I would say I, I even forgot what I was actually saying. So I was saying like people who actually pretend to be something that they're not, that's actually my red flag. Like that's my greatest red flag. Cause like, like they try to match your energy because they want you. And I feel like most people do this because like, especially when they, oh, I'm scared. Especially when they like want to be part of your life so they will try so hard to be something that they're not i don't know why do people do that like i like a person who is just like real like just be yourself like if you can like if you're like if you're being yourself i will still love you the way you are you don't have to pretend that you can actually provide for me that you can actually do stuff for me that you that you're actually kind, you're caring, you're responsible. Like, if you cannot do something, do not make yourself like you can do it. Like, don't show yourself or, like, be in a way that you can do it. That's, like, that's a red flag because you cannot pretend forever. At the end of the day, we're going to talk. We're going to like be meeting each other. We're going to be there, like you know, together and stuff like that. And at the end of the day, the secret will be out, and I'll just know. So I really don't like that. Oh. Okay. Why? Why is my boob like reaching me right now, like so bad? Okay, so. <coughs> I'm sorry guys for the noises. There are some people like they're playing like table tennis right now. That is why it's like that. Like you can hear like some noises. And stuff. But it's so good. Um, I hope you guys can hear me though. So. What is your love language? This is a very good question. I am an old soul. Okay. I love flowers. I love dates. I love shopping. <laughs> um, I love words of affirmation. Like the... I love like the physical stuff, like person doing, what is it called? Like, wait, a giving task? Like, what 
a task of giving something like that like doing like a task of doing or that's my love language but words of affirmation no words of affirmation or words of compliments like saying something nice to me that's my love language prayer is also my love language y'all it's something that i just added um yeah, so I'm an old soul. I love flowers. I love to go out. I love some shopping. I love like encouragements, positive words, words of you know, and stuff like that. Positive words. What is your favorite song lyric? Okay. There is a lot of songs. I love lots of songs, y'all. But my favorite song lyric is Bright of Taylor. I think it's Exchange. Um, <coughs> excuse me, y'all. Okay, we're good to go. My favorite um, song lyric is Exchange by Bryson Taylor. I think it goes like, wait. You know what? I was just thinking of like, in my mind, I'm thinking of like, Exchange by Bryson Taylor, but at the same time, my mind is like, see, I'm in the way right now. I'm gonna stay right now. Singing your favorite song to see. Seriously, I love that song, favorite song. It's my favorite song. I love it. But, like, why was I thinking about, like, I was thinking about Exchange Bar Sealer, but I was thinking about To See, favorite song. Like, what? So, I say, like, um, my favorite lyric from Exchange. I was scrolling through the team. Wait. Uh, uh. Will be sad for me. This will favor for me. I used to, uh, I had to change my playlist. The lights are complicated for me. I hope she's getting it for me. Everywhere she goes, I play my Like the lyric says, like um, it says, like like it was like scrolling, like it was like going through like the campus, and he had to stop for it. For and I was scrolling through the ground, girl, and I was like, so what's up? We should, yeah, something like that, something like that. If I remember it, like by the end of this, I'll actually just like add a clip on it. I'll sing it and I'll add a clip on it. So guys, do you remember what I told you when I remember the lyrics? I will actually like try to um, sing it and like make you guys like know what the lyric is. So the lyric goes like this. Nah, girl, I got a job for you. I swear to God, I can do a love for you. I was strolling through the campus. I had to stop for you. I was scrolling through the ground, girl. I had to follow you. Say what's up with you. <laughs> It took me time to remember, but finally I remembered. And right now, like it's pretty quiet here. There's actually no one. So, as you can see, I'm just here by myself. It's okay. Just waiting for my classes. But I hope you enjoy the rest of the video. But that's like my favorite song, Larry. But also, but also it's my other favorite song, Larry. I think that's it. I have lots of songs. I love, I, I'm a person who loves like to listen to music a lot and I don't have like a favorite song, but I do have like some favorite lyrics, like part of some songs, part of a song. My dream job, person I was, what's your dream job? My dream job is becoming a YouTuber, like a, like a consistent, YouTuber. Like, me and you guys are stuck 
for life forever because this is what I'll be doing for my entire life there is no way I am going to change I might do something else but like this is not something that I'm actually going to stop any, like any day so guys I hope you guys can hear me because like if you don't I'm going to be so mad What is on your back list? Um, oh, that's some good question. So, my back list is getting engaged, getting married, having kids, traveling, um, what else? Um, Helping out people. I love helping out people. I've really never, I've really never ever thought of a bucket list before. But those are the things, like those, those are the things that are actually on my bucket list. Those are the things that I really, really, really want to do. Do you prefer to cook or take out? I prefer, it depends, it depends. Like sometimes I really feel like, I really wanna like, um, sometimes I feel like I wanna like cook, sometimes I feel like I just wanna like eat out. So it really depends like with my mood and like what I am feeling at that particular time, so. But cooking, definitely, I love to cook. Cook like you can actually add what whatever you want to add. You can add any seasoning you want to add. You can make it more spicy or less spicy. You can add more salt or less salt. Rather than like going somewhere and waiting for the food. And like, you know, sometimes you tell people, I want this particular food. And they actually don't do it the way you want it. So it really, really, really depends. Um, I really, really, really like it. So. <laughs> that is it for today, y'all. Thank you for tuning in and thank you for watching to the end. If you made it, like, if you made it to the end, I just want to say I love you so freaking much. Um, I really will try to like be uploading more videos every single time I get the opportunity to do so. Okay, I was like, I was stargazed, like, I was like really, like, really far away. People are like, I don't like playing edge, like, this whatsoever. But, I didn't tell you all, I actually did my own camera today, it's recording. How do you guys like it? So, I really wanted to, like, try something different, like, something new. I don't know, maybe, like, comment down below if you guys want to see, like, a video of me doing my hair from the first, like, from the beginning to the end. It took me like 35 minutes to do this because I was actually in a rush because I had classes. So I was, I don't, I don't know how I did it. And I ended up like breaking my, my hot thermos thingy. Cause like I had to use it for like, to like pour like some hot water so that I can actually have like some waves on my hair. And it actually like, it fell and it just, it broke. It broke. I mean, so it was kind of hectic, but it's all right. So I'm super happy that it's finally Thursday. We're almost to the end of the week, Friday, and it's February, y'all. Happy New Month. How did I forget about that? Happy New Month, y'all. I love you guys so much. Thank you for tuning in. Thank you for your support. Thank you for your love. Do not forget to turn your post notification on so that every single time I upload a new video, you'll be the first to be notified. Subscribe, like, drop some comments. Share this video to your family and your friends. Don't forget to follow me on Instagram, Tori.tz, Snapchat, and TikTok, the real underscore Tori. Let me know, y'all, what you guys want to see more. I be posting on Snapchat a lot and on Instagram. I am sorry, TikTok family. I am really trying so hard. Not to forget about you, but I, I don't know. It happens. Like, I just, you know, but 
but I love you guys so much. I am sorry today's video is like so many people here, so many noises, but it's good. People are vibing, good energy, so that's how we're supposed to. <laughs> that's how we're supposed to be. So that's gonna be it for today. I really don't wanna go, but I have to go. Thank you, lovable, kind, beautiful family. See you guys another time.